So, Teddy Ed was here, and we inside uh, today's video. The topic is called Shit Tests versus Playing Games. Before I get into this topic for this video, I just want to let you know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best to be in all aspects of their lives their health, wealth, family relationships, and their mindsets. Alright? So I appreciate you guys being here. New people, welcome. Returning people, welcome back. Of course, if you have not already done so, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button. So you get notified whenever I upload some new videos. And like the video if you want to help out with the algorithm. If you just want to support the channel or support the video. And definitely share the video so you get this video and this information out to more people who view this video, this information, so we can make the world a better place for us and our future generations. Alright. Let's dive into this topic a little bit more. Women shit test versus playing games. Shit tests and playing games are very different. You know, one is more subconscious, really testing to see if you are who you are uh, showing you are. Another is more um, demeaning, um, not as helpful. Um, it's really just to kind of boost the, 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 the girl's ego, um, really, and more than anything. So um, I'm gonna definitely go over the Two different things to look for when it comes to shit tests and the playing games. Um, I'll do three shit tests, things to look out for, sh for shit tests and um, their value. And two, when it comes to um, the, actually I guess it's two and two, my bad. Two and two of each, uh, the good and bad, well the good of the shit tests is bad of the playing games and then bonus at the end kind of put everything together you know so definitely set to the end for the bonus and really tie everything together very very nicely all right so now let's get started on this topic women shit test versus playing games and this is a viewer request so i decided to do this this video so if you have any other requests that you'd like to a uh, video topics you'd like definitely let me know and um, if it relates or if I want to do it I'll do it all right so I appreciate you guys <coughs> and gals as well so yeah let's d uh, really dive into this and go a little deeper this topic here so, women's shit tests versus playing games. First and foremost, shit tests are a test of interest. A woman will do something subconsciously. Maybe she um, will say, what's your favorite color? You say, it's red. <laughs> she says, well, I don't really like red. My favorite color is blue. And uh, it could be a shit test to see if you will change your opinion. Say, well, yeah, red's okay. I mean... It used to be my favorite color, but now I'm kind of more into the bluish or kind of towards the blue, you know. She wants to see if you're going to be able to stand strong, be confident in what you want and what you believe. Even this small or little thing is your favorite color, you know. So that's pretty much it. It's all about testing uh, uh, her interest to see if you are who you say you are, if you are. Uh, as confident as you appear, you know, so that's very powerful. And that's just a small example with the color. But then you have playing games that is a lack of interest. See the girl playing games, she can give you a fake number. Just completely waste your time, give you a fake number uh, because she didn't have interest and she wasn't confident enough to reject you or to just not give you any number. You know, uh, she gave you a fake number to obviously get you off her back. And that's playing games. Because at the end of the day, you know, 
she didn't, she wasn't honest, she was kind of playing with you, and your emotions, by using, by you thinking you had a real number, it turns out to be a fake, of course, um, you never really know if it's a fake number, unless um, you get the little weird ringtone at the end, you know what I mean, because otherwise she could have just ghost you, and either way, it's all playing games, so, <clears throat> And number three, shit tests help improve interest. Because again, they are designed to see how confident you are. See if you're willing to stand on who you are. Just another thing, you know, you suggest a date. If you are into going on dates, you suggest a place you want to go to get a girl. She says, oh, well, I'm not really interested in, let's say you say, you want to go to a Chinese food restaurant. She said, oh, well, I'm not really interested in Chinese tonight. You know, I'd rather go to an Italian restaurant. That's a shit test. It's showing your confidence. How confident are you? How, how strong are you to be able to resist what she wants? To fulfill what you want? How strong and confident are you? And you say, hey, well, you know, I want to go to the Chinese restaurant because I've been wanting to go to it all week or whatever. So, um, we're going to go. Maybe you could find something you like there, or, you know, or not. And otherwise, maybe afterwards you could go somewhere else, and, you know, grab something to go. You know, but <clears throat> I got to go to the Chinese food restaurant because I really want to go. You know, it's just standing your ground. And for her, subconsciously it shows you're willing to withstand some of her, her, her emotions, her issues. You're like the mountain and she's the wind blowing against you. You're steadfast and strong and you're not moved, you know. And women like that because if you're able to handle those little things, generally speaking, when bigger things happen, you'll be able to handle those as well. You know, so that's very powerful, being able to be strong in the midst of a woman's uh, shit test. So I appreciate y'all making it this far into the video. Thank you. Um, definitely, if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit that notification button, excuse me, so you're notified whenever I, I upload some new videos. Um... And definitely like the video if you're liking the video. Let me know in the comments what you liking and disliking respectfully, of course. Um, definitely share the video if you're enjoying the video. So get this video, this information out to more people. We use this video and this information so we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. So let's get this done. I appreciate y'all making it to this part again. <clears throat> so playing games is is really just a waste of time because a girl could let's say she gave you the right number you constantly ask her out on dates and you know she's set for the date and then the day before she cancels and she says oh well we could do it another time and then the same thing happens and then she's oh well we could do it another time the same thing happens you know, she constantly sets the date, or even if you set the date, and then she constantly is rescheduling. And you never get that, you never meet up. She's playing games. She's wasting your time. You know, and that's when it's time to move on. It's time to move forward, find someone else. So really, in that situation, you give it twice. She does it twice, it's over. You know, I mean, some people will do it once. But really, if you want to be nice, do that twice. You reschedule um, twice and she hasn't set up and you guys haven't gone on a date you move on move forward move forward move on find someone else it's very important you know so ah, but yes we made it to the bonus I appreciate y'all made it to the end of the video thank you guys I really appreciate it um, and the bonus is very important. Really puts everything together very nicely. Very simple though. But it puts everything together very nicely. Essentially, when it comes to shit tests, 
uh, they can be good. Not all sweet tastes are good, but most of the time they are good and they can be good. Wow, wow, playing games is bad. Please, <laughs> yeah, I mean, gonna see if I lack interest and really it's a waste of time. Um, doesn't mean you can't convert when we're playing games, but you got to be on top of your game, and it's really easier just to let them go, you know, if they're playing games. It really is. So, <clears throat> and you could let a woman go if she does shit test too, if they're too, you know, if you just don't feel like dealing with it. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Uh, shit tests can be good, and playing games is bad. So, Appreciate y'all making it to the end of the video. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, share the video so you can get this video, this information out to the uh, more people who use this video, this information. So we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. Again, let me know in the comments what you liked and disliked about the video. Uh, respectfully, you know what I mean? Definitely let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. <coughs> because I make this channel. I make it for you, so I don't know what you want to talk about. Um, donations very much appreciated. So if you find value in the video, definitely donate. They keep me motivated and they help me bring higher quality videos to you guys. Um, check the comments. Let me know what other topics or check the comments or check the, my description. Uh, find out what other money making opportunities you'd like to get involved in or you'd like to get involved in. Period. I uh, got some cheap ones, got a little bit more expensive ones. Check that out. Uh, it'll help you get some money, some extra money, and a lot of money in some cases uh, for the summer and just all year round. You know, so definitely check them out. A lot of different opportunities. <clears throat> some free and, like I said, some a little bit more uh, um, costly, I guess. <clears throat> you know, I appreciate y'all. Definitely. Y'all apply what you learn. You're going to get some awesome results. And always remember, uh, definitely stay safe. I hope to see y'all next week. And then always remember, the strongest person is the happiest person.